together, Julie and Sarah have a dollar in quarters. They want to share the quarters equally. How many quarters should each girl get? How much money is this? So first of all, we have to remember that a dollar equals 100 cents. A quarter equals 25 cents. A dime equals 10 cents. And a penny equals 1 cent. So and use the model below to relate the money, fractions, and decimals. So a quarter, four quarters equals a dollar, which each quarter is worth how much? 25 cents. So 25 cents times four is going to equal a dollar. So here's our quarters. They're very tiny. They look like dimes. They're 25 cents, 25 cents, 25 cents, 25 cents, which equals a dollar. If you think about it, a quarter is really 25 cents, right, out of 100. Okay, or one quarter of a dollar. Who would like to tell me how 25 cents, 25 over 100 could actually be the same thing as a quarter? If we reduce the 25 one hundredths, reduce it to um, the simplest form. Go ahead. One fourth. It'll be one fourth. How did you know it was one fourth? What did you divide by? I divided a hundred by twenty-five. And then you divided the numerator by twenty-five, and you got one there and one there. You can see that one fourth, twenty-five one hundredths equals one fourth, and the other name that we call one fourth is a quarter. So um, that makes sense. That's why we call quarters quarter. So I'm going to erase that. So one quarter is 25 hundredths or one fourth of a dollar. Two quarters equals how many cents class? 50, 50. 50 cents. All right, so if I had 50 over 100 and I reduce that to simplest form, I could divide both by 50 and I get 1 over 2 or a half. How many of you agree that 50 cents is half of a dollar? Awesome. All right. Oh, and then it, the next line says, a half of a dollar equals 50 cents. We can write it like this, or we can write it like this. Okay. Remember again, we're sharing the quarters between Julie and Sarah. They each are sharing the quarters. How much should each girl get if they're sharing equally. So you can even just go simply like this, Julie, Sarah, Julie, Sarah. We split them up this way. We see that Julie gets two and Sarah gets two, so they each get two, two quarters or 50 cents. So we've been talking about this whole time how you, decimals are some, we can relate decimals and money. If we look at a dollar bill, we know that it looks like a dollar, like this. We also know that that's 100 cents. If we look at our model here, you can see the whole 100 square is shaded. We also have 10 dimes equal a dollar, and you can see that one is shaded already. That's one dollar, and then if we continue to shade, this is, I'm sorry, one dime. If we continue to shade these, we would have 10 dimes. So a dime equals one-tenth, or one-tenth like that. Or 10 cents. Again, this is we've been doing these in our assignments anyways. A hundred pennies would look like each one like this. A hundred pennies is the same as one hundredth, which looks like that, or one cent. Relating money and decimals. Think of dollars as ones, dimes as tenths, and pennies as hundredths, just like I showed you on the other side. A dollar fifty six is one dollar and fifty six pennies. And what they've done is taken the place value chart and they've changed out the the hundredths for pennies, which is exactly what a penny is, one one hundredth, and they changed out the the tenths for dimes, which is one tenth. So if we're starting on this side, we can see that there's 156 pennies, or $1.56 pennies, or $1, 5 dimes, and 6 pennies. There's other ways to make up the money, but those are the main ones showing there. Here's the other way they showed it as 1 
dollar and fifty six hundredths. One dollar and fifty six pennies, one dollar and fifty six hundredths, the same thing. Okay, we're gonna shade our model to show what's shown to um, demonstrate what's shown in our money. So we have a dime and two nickels and a penny. So a dime would look like this. Two nickels together equals ten cents. So there's another ten. And then there's the penny. And that's a total of 21 cents. Or 21 hundredths of a dollar. This one is a whole dollar. Here's where the whole numbers come in on the other side, of, on the left side of the decimal. So we're going to shade the whole dollar. And then we have a quarter, two dimes, and a penny. So a quarter is going to be, I'm going to do the two dimes first. That's two dimes. And then for the quarter, we need 20 more. And then five cents, one, two, three, four, five, and then the one penny. So that's 46 cents. So it's a dollar 46 or one and 46 hundredths of a dollar. Complete the table to show how, how many fractions, mixed numbers, and decimals are all related. Okay. So if the dollar amount is, the money amount is three cents, it should look like three, and this is in the hundredths place, so that's three one hundredths. Plain as a decimal, it looks like that. And as dollars and coins and all that kind of stuff, it could be, the only thing it can be is three pennies. There's no other way to make that. Okay. So 25 cents would look like 25 hundredths, or we can reduce it into simplest form and make it a quarter, or just as a simple decimal, it looks like that. Or we can call it one quarter, we can call it all kinds of different things, but we'll just go with one quarter. So two quarters and one dime looks like two quarters is 50 cents plus a dime is 60 cents or 61 hundredths or we can reduce it to six tenths and if you notice remember I said you can take the zero off there it is a six tenths but money we don't show it like that and then as a decimal we can show it like six like this or 0 0.60 and the last one is two one dollars and two one dollar bills and five nickels. So two dollars and five nickels is twenty five cents, or two whole and twenty five one hundredths. Another way to write that fraction is two and a quarter. If we did it in simplest form, and then to write it as a decimal, we would write it like this: two point two five. And that's completing that chart.